Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Um, I have this wonderful laminator here, which was a fantastic gift from the lovely Susan, which is brilliant. I've wanted a laminator for so long, so now I have one. I've been having a really good play. So I thought I would make some embellishments. So I have been also making these lovely little covers, little journal covers. Um, and I love it, really, really good, the little um, journals inside. Let's put this on the right way, like that. So I wanted something to go on the outside here. So I thought I'd laminate some scrap bits of paper. And also I've laminated some of my little mini embellishments as well um, from the mini embellishment kit, digital kit. Um, but I also did some um, lovely little bits of scrap paper which I thought was a great idea. I just wanted something to hang down and I thought I'd laminate them to go with the laminated cover. And I think it looks really nice. So I have made quite a few. I hope they don't glare too much. Um, this is one of my little mini embellishments. I've just popped a few little jump rings on there and a little hoop and popped a little um, ball pin on there. This one is just a plain one that's just a scrap piece of paper. I have gone round the edge with a little bit of stays on just to make a little bit grungy. Um, this one here is really pretty. That's just a grungy little seam binding flower. A beautiful pearl on there. Um, and then it's just a scrap piece of paper which is laminated. And I think they look really, really nice. Um, here's one with a bit of ribbon, not ribbon. Um, lace, tea stain lace on there made into a little flower. I have sewn around some of these as well um, so your sewing machine does go through them on these. Now I'll quickly go through through them here. So this one here is um, a lovely feather on here with a little bead on the bottom a seam binding flower and I think they look so pretty really really pretty. That's just a plain one which I haven't done anything with this one has got some beads on, I've popped some seam binding on there and I've popped some little eyelets through here um, which is nice but the eyelets I've got are too long the little little thing is too long so they don't really clip in properly um, but these ones are alright, the bigger ones I've got are good this has just got a bit of um, sari silk on there um, this one's got a beautiful little bead on there with a feather I've sewn around this one as well uh, but I think they look really nice and these ones have got, I love the seam binding because it's sort of like although they're laminated um, popping a little bit of seam binding or something like that on them makes them a little bit more shabby um, so I think they look really nice, a nice little pretty bead as well um, I did put, these are the other ones that I've done here so I haven't really decorated those yet so I'm going to pop those in the pot these ones I popped some copper tape around the outside just to see what it would look like so I'm not 100% sure on that yet and this one is just a little bit of silver foil tape um, so not sure about those I will see what I can do with them but it's quite simple to do well I'm going to turn my laminator on so it's easy peasy I have got some scrap pieces of paper here and what I've done on these ones, because they're scrap, I've just um, inked the back so the back when you see from behind um, you haven't got a white back um, but on the um, little embellishments what I did I printed on the back of them I think this was from the Grungy Rose paper, one of the background papers on there um, so when you see from the back like these here um, it's not white um, but again you can write a little message on some of these as well um, if you want to give them to somebody um, or you could make a little tag for your bag or something like that and write your name on it or some telephone numbers on it or something like that so there we go so I'm going to take a piece of the laminate sorry if it's shiny on there I'm going to just quickly show you this is the paper that I have um, I've not brought laminating paper pouches before so I don't know what's good and what isn't but this is the one I got from Amazon I'll pop a link down below anyway it's h &S, it's A4 100 sheets and 150 microns which I'm not quite sure what that really means 
um, but that's the one that I have got so again I can't compare it with anything oopsie daisy so what I'm going to do now these are very very staticky um, so you have to be really careful you don't have too much um, on your table like little bits of thread because it just sort of like sticks to it so what I'm going to do I'm going to take a couple of these I'm just going to pop them onto the laminating sheet just like that doesn't really matter where they go just so you've got enough to um, cut around the outside of them just like that and then I'm going to pop some of the um, little embellishments here these are from the mini embellishment kit just like this what else have we got some nice little house there little bird's house um, where's the end of it oh there it is so I think I'm not quite sure how many we can get on here but there we go we shall put 12 on there just so we've got enough room to cut around them like that pop this over the top doesn't matter if they're a bit wibbly wobbly pop that down I'm going to pop that over here and bringing this over I'll pop it like this because I need to let me just turn it around just need to pop that in here like that like so and that will go through but I'm going to show you this because I loved making these. I have made another one here, like this one here. Um, and I popped some holes in it. I popped three holes in it, but I think that's probably too many for the size of the journal. I put two there, one in the middle and then another two at the top. Um, and the first one I did was a Christmassy one, which was here. Um, which was made of my Christmas papers but I didn't make a little um, spine on it so when you close it they just bend so my last one was this one here so this one is turned out a lot lot better but I will do a tutorial on it because it was really good fun I know there are a few tutorials out there um, but they are really really good fun to do so let me just this is nearly finished now and popping out here we go let me turn that off so this one is actually a hot and cold so I think the cold is just for sort of like sticky paper I think to make sure you flatten it down properly I'm not 100% sure but I will have to look into it so there we go that's all on there I hope it's not too shiny for you um, but you can see there so let me just quickly cut them out like this okay I'm just gonna chop them like this for a minute because what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it out don't cut right up to the edge just go so you've got a little gap in between so these ones I'm gonna go sort of up into a little point so it's almost like a little tag top just so I can pop in a little hole so it's almost like a tag this make sure you pop it all the little bits into your recycling because um, it is plastic and I've just got a little hole in the top just like that that's going to come out um, so what I will do I'm trying to go around the edge with some stays on so you can see the shape if you can I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it just like that it sort of grunges it up a little bit as well so that's the sort of shape that you get and I think they're really really nice so I'm going to show you another one let's cut out another one here With the laminate it came the little corner because again the laminate is really sharp so they it gives you a little um, punch just on the little sharp edges these ones I don't because I rounded them off 
because they won't wiggly woggly around it. Okay, so there we go. That's a few there, so I think they look really good. I'm going to take my hole punch again, pop that in the top like that, in the top of this one. I made some with this paper because I want to make a journal with that, um, so I thought it would have a little dangly to go with it. So let's pop. I'm going to pop one at the bottom, a little hole at the bottom as well, so we can have a dangly off the bottom. Let me do that on this one too. There we go. Now I've got some beads here. Um, I've got some jump rings as well. Um, I need to restock some of these because I don't have a huge amount left. You can see which ones I use. Okay, let's pop. Jump the ring through the top. Shall we pop a little seam binding flower? Let's have a look. What have we got? This one, I think. Just poke it through the seam binding like that. Push that together so that hangs off. And then all as I did then, I've taken a little bulb pin just like that and clicked it to the top. Just like that, so that just hangs down. And it's super easy. What should we have? Oh, there's a nice little pink bead there. And then I can just hang that little bead. I think I'm going to have to put a jump ring in there. Pop that onto here. And then that can clip on there. And there we go easy peasy and they just dingly dangly down and I think it looks really really lovely I like that quite simple to do what should we have on this one let's pop a little jump ring at the top should we pop a bead on there what should we have this little one oops A little dingly dangly one at the bottom with a jump ring. Put a little bead on. So, this is where all your little scrap beads and all your broken jewellery comes into use now. Pop that on there. And then you've got a little dingly dangly and I think they look really really good on these hanging off there or hanging off whatever you like to hang it off but the embellishments I think are so so cute this one here which is just the um, scrap piece of paper you could just take just a little bulb pin let's have a look we could have just a little seam binding flower and scrunch it a little bit and just hang it off like that just like that looks nice you could pop a little pearl little flat back pearl in the middle there um, and just have that hanging off so it makes them look still look a little bit of shabby although they have sort of like the plastic on them I think they look still look really pretty um, shall we do one more quick let's put one of these on shall we let's have a look Take a little jump ring, pop, oops, pop that through there, and that's with a back, so you don't have a plain white back. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Pop that through like that. It goes on to there. Another little bulb pin and that can sit on there and there we go how simple and I think they are lovely really really nice so there we go guys a quick little tutorial little laminating embellishments um, 
which are really simple and the next one I'll show you how to do these because they're really easy um, and it's really nice good fun um, I did show you how to make the little booklets in one of my videos um, decorating them so I will link that below when I do this video but there we go guys thank you so much for joining me please do give it a go and look I've made lots because you can get lots on a laminating sheet you can go about 12 of them on one laminating sheet um, but if you cut them quite close to each other you probably get some more on there but there we go guys thank you so much for joining me have a fantastic day and I will see you soon bye bye mm -hmm.